Typhoon Mindul has been intensifying as expected in the last 24 hours. Now a Category 3 Typhoon on the Zappa Simpson scale by our latest analysis. 18.1 north, 137.5 degrees east and looks like it's in a state of consolidation right now. Currently winds of 115 miles per hour, pressure of 953 millibars moving northwest at 7 miles per hour. A CDPS stage 8 because one of the islands on the Japanese Itsu chain, uh, Torishima, could receive a landfall from this storm on Thursday. Um, that is quite a way out and it is a tiny island with a very small population but nonetheless that is a stage 8 for that location now as we look towards a landfall within the 5 day period. So here's its uh, current position displayed on the map. Uh, and its wind field which is expanding considerably on the northern quadrants and that will continue over the next few days as you'll see on the model run shortly. Currently right now it is 1065 kilometers from Daitojima, 1343 from Naha on Okinawa, 1648 from Kagoshima, 1843 from Osaka and 1956 from Tokyo. It's looking like the western parts of Japan will most likely not receive this storm at all. It'll be the central and eastern parts of the country that will be watching out for uh, the potential from this typhoon, particularly on those island chains, the Itsu island chain. So uh, right now then, 115 miles per hour, JMA and JWC a little bit lower, 105 currently, uh, but their updates will be coming out soon, so they might bump it up. Uh, the ADT, the Dvorak, uh, going very low for some reason, only 70 to 80 miles per hour right now. We'll see if we can unpack that on the satellite imagery in a moment. So this is the JTWC's forecast. They're calling for a super typhoon peak with winds of 130 knots. That's 150 miles per hour. And then a slow weakening phase after that as it curves northwards and then towards the northeast. Staying as a category 4 until its closest pass to the Daito Islands. And they're calling for weakening to category 3 when it moves north of there by the time we get to, uh, I think that's Thursday. So this is the GFS model output showing the storm really getting strong there and staying strong until it reaches the Itsu Islands and then weakening but look at the size of the storm it really doubles probably in the next 48 hours uh, and then it continues to grow there very uh, enormous storm once it passes Japan looking at the rainfall estimates as well uh, out to sea they're still looking at about 51 inches in that little uh, purple area there but obviously that's not not going to affect anyone over those land areas the Japanese island chain you could be looking at over 16 inches uh, for some of those areas obviously long range things might change sea surface temperatures are certainly giving it enough fuel currently around 29 degrees pushing 30 degrees Celsius and that will continue for the next three maybe four days before dropping down to about 27 26 and then dropping below the 26 threshold once it reaches the Itsu Islands the intensity forecast the decay ships model wants it to reach category 5 status quite clearly uh, the other model still playing catch up I feel with the GFS only saying high end category 3 uh, it looks like it's going to quite easily beat that with wind shear there very low 10 knots or lower for the next four days Sea surface temperatures near 30 degrees for four days and relative humidity looking decent for at least three days. The JCWC forecast is also turning uh, still towards the west of what the models are currently saying. Satellite imagery showing the eye feature. It's uh, partially visible there. It's not particularly well defined. There's a better view on the infrared showing the extent of that. Cloud tops really blowing up quite considerably. Uh, the eye is sort of half sunken in there, very notable on the infrared though. This is the water vapour view, a bit of dry air well north of the storm, but its environment is generally pretty good. Uh, and looking at the RGB loop as well, uh, you can see how the storm is gathering pace as we continue to monitor its progress over the Philippine Sea.